Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have something absolutely incredible that I am so beyond hyped to take a look at that I finally now have here in my hands. As you can see, we've got a brand new Titanic Creations release in collaboration with Dope Pope. You can see both logos in the upper left-hand corner of the box. We have the brand new 30-centimeter vinyl Gorgo model, and you can see the box art is absolutely incredible. Incredible. I love the artwork that they've included on this. It's honestly like picture perfect for what I would like to see on a box like this. Perfectly created really nicely. Created in a really nice and colorful way. So again, it absolutely looks awesome. You can see again, fully painted, amazing detail, sculpted by Dope Pope. And then as you turn the box, as you can see, first of all, over here on the side, we've basically just got some images of London as Gorgo is destroying it. And then here you can see this is the big one Gorgo like nothing you've ever seen before. And then, of course, the same stuff basically on the opposite side of the box. So the box is gorgeous, but of course, what we want to see most would be the model itself. So let's pop this box open and check it out. So here is our gigantic gorgo and man this thing is awesome i would absolutely say this is the ultimate when it comes to a gorgo model and you know the fully articulated version was fantastic it really was a great figure and i still love that figure to this day and always will because i'm just a huge fan of gorgo but this one is on another level of awesomeness because first of all it is huge that is one thing that you know straight out of the gate is great about this it's easily one of the most impressively sized kaiju models i've ever had the pleasure of checking out in person but it's also really impressive as far as the paint apps go they did a very good job of adding in a lot of different layering and stuff to this one to really make this look even more lifelike than the original articulated figure was. So without further ado, let's jump to a closer look and check it out from there. So starting up here in the head sculpt of Gorgo, you can see, of course, when it comes to the overall appearance of Gorgo, Dope Pope knocked it out of the park. He always does. He is easily the, in my opinion, greatest kaiju sculptor that I think I've ever seen and definitely has ironed out this Gorgo perfectly. You can see we've got all of the things that you know and love about Gorgo. You've got the red eye here. You can see it's painted with a red given a black pupil and a nice white spot there for the eye shine. You can also see Gorgo's classic ears are sculpted out as well as some really nice looking scale detail and stuff throughout. You can see the nostrils right here and you'll notice that there's a good bit of variation of color. Even as you lead back into the ear you can see lighter and darker shades of color. You can even see brownish tones that have been applied kind of like sort of like a wash like fashion showing up in a few different areas of Gorgo definitely bringing Gorgo to life perfectly and very realistically up here on the top of the head again you can see more really nice skin texture the skin texture overall is really quite vibrant on top of everything it's going to be hard to get a nice closer look at those teeth but you can see the teeth of Gorgo look really good and on top of giving them a white coloration they've also been hit with a nice brown wash it seems so they have kind of like a dirty kind of an appearance definitely adding a little bit more life to the model you can see the tongue on the inside of the mouth here for Gorgo also has a nice wash to it but you can see that that is painted with a pinkish tone and the entire inside of the mouth is sculpted and painted there nicely and you can see it all you know again features that pink tone with a dark wash in there as well and then of course as we turn Gorgo around you can see again the very kind of armored back for the monster and as you move down you'll see all sorts of really nice paintwork applied to this one but one of the things I think I love the most about the paintwork of the Gorgo here is as far as like washes go of course Gorgo primarily is a dark green coloration but they've given it like a light green green wash and a brown wash and together that very much so you know creates that kind of aquatic look that you would see for Gorgo because Gorgo comes up out of the ocean so I would expect Gorgo to have kind of like a uh, I guess you could say like a mossy sort of like almost like kind of like a slimy appearance I would almost expect 
Gorgo to have as far as like the way he would feel and you can see that I think they've created that nicely with the usage of those washes as you move down into the neck of Gorgo you can see even more color variation as I can see different tones of greens and browns showing up moving down really smooth transition as you move down to the lighter tone here for the throat and underside of Gorgo and even down here we have greens and browns mixed together to add even more variation of color throughout you can also see tons of really impressive skin details detail as you move down you have all kinds of creasing and wrinkling here in the throat you can see the throat itself moving up through the center of course but as you continue to move down all sorts of really nice creasing and wrinkling to the skin of the monster as you move down into the arms you can see the muscle definition is displayed right there and you can also see again continuing to move down you've got a nice bend in the elbow the elbow itself is sculpted some creasing there to the skin in the joint of the elbow and you I'd imagine you could probably continue to notice again the browns and greens applied there are lighter and darker shades of greens as well as sporadic brown washes that have been applied continuing to again give this the look of like a monster that's just been resting on the ocean ocean floor somewhere for a very long time as you continue to move down into the hands the hands are nicely sculpted but I also love the fact that as we lead out toward the fingers we do darken the green even more then once you reach the nails you can see the nails are sculpted really nicely first of all there's some nice fine detail within the nails but you can see they start out with kind of like a dark brownish tone and then transition to a lighter tone as you lead out toward the tips you'll see the same thing of course for both arms and you can see this arm is in a similar position but definitely a little bit different it's up a little bit higher than we see for the opposing side and uh, again just equally as beautiful as far as the sculpt and paint though it's a very very nicely sculpted and painted gorgo it's honestly even better in hand than i was expecting it to be continuing to move down through the underside of the gorgo you still see how nice the skin texture looks how nice the paintwork looks again the mixtures of greens and browns that we have down here as you lead down look at the skin detail like all the creases and stuff dope pope really puts so much time and effort into his kaiju sculpts and again they pay off in the best way possible with some of the easily some of the best kaiju sculpts i've ever seen always coming from dope pope as you move down into the thigh you can see the muscle definition sculpted and again right here specifically you can see quite a bit of variation to the greens as you can see definitely lighter and darker shades of greens as well as browns all throughout that area of the thigh nice uh skin wrinkling as you lead down further through the thigh especially Especially as you get closer to the knee you can see the kneecap right there even though it's not focusing correctly on it but the kneecap on the front of the leg a calf muscle as you move down and then as you continue to lead down you've got the foot sculpt of gorgo here you can see it also looks really good the toes sculpted nicely again the texturing continues to look really nice exactly as it looks on gorgo in the film and then as you lead out into the nails they as well look great and you can even see like cracks and crevices there to the nails like cracks within the nails and of course being a giant monster like this it's going to be stomping around on buildings and all kinds of things it's definitely going to have some cracks in the nails and i think they did a great job of including that and also again the same type of paintwork we saw for the nails up there on the hand where it starts out with like a brownish tone and then transition to some light tips there for the nails and you even have the dew claw here on the back of the foot painted and sculpted the same way it all looks really nice and i also noticed that there's even like more brown washes that are like applied to the feet almost giving it the look of like dirt or mud that's kind of splattered on the feet and legs of gorgo which i really like like right there on the back of the leg you can really see a very obvious uh, wash right there that's been applied so it looks really cool again as you lead over here to the opposing leg you can see the same thing again the foot is or the leg as a whole is in a little bit of a different position on this side it's just kind of like trailing slightly compared to the opposing side but look at how nice that paintwork is the transitions are so smooth and the application of the paint is so realistic of course you're going to see the same type of detailing look at all that skin stretching just right there when it comes to the positioning of the foot and the way it's stretching the skin they're kind of like off of the shin that's so realistic and uh, again a nice looking foot sculpt over here and then of course we lead back up we lead out into the tail and considering it is a old school kaiju the tail is now dragging on the ground so of course it's going to have that tripod look like all those men in the suit movies usually do and again we've got the really smooth transition to the coloration of the underside you can even see some dry brushing that's been applied with a lighter tone moving down through the underside of the tail the tail leads down and then curves back up as you lead out here 
toward the tip. And again, we continue to have that armored look the entire way through. You can even see a little bit of a curve to the tail just kind of as it leads out. But you see again the nice armored look to Gorgo moving along the back with the really dark greens. And again, you can really see how nice those lighter greens are as far as the way that they're applied with kind of like a wash. You can see it kind of like popping up all throughout the course of the model the entire way through and again we also have some browns applied back here as well so honestly this thing is a masterpiece when it comes to a gorgo model it is far and away one of my new favorite kaiju in my collection as far as a size goes for gorgo if we actually go from the snout to the tail you are looking at around 17 inches or about 43 a little over 43 centimeters and then if we go for just a straight up height on gorgo you are looking actually let's go back behind gorgo here because i feel like the ear is probably the highest point eh, maybe not maybe it's the head so it's just a little under 13 and a half inches or right around 34 centimeters somewhere in that vicinity for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus robert muldoon and the collect a human being next to gorgo and man gorgo is huge like if you were to bring in the older one the articulated version that one would be tiny compared to this gorgo this gorgo is absolutely gigantic in comparison to the previous version and for another size comparison to show you how big this is we have a Metal Velociraptor and Dilophosaurus stepping in here, which you can very clearly see how tiny compared to Gorgo. We've also got a NECA, King of the Monsters Godzilla here, which, you know, surprise, surprise, is tiny next to Gorgo. We've also got the SH Monster Arts 1972 Godzilla, which again, as per usual, is tiny next to our massive Gorgo. And surprise, surprise, it's the same case when you bring in a Haya Toys Godzilla, though this one definitely is a little bit bigger. It is still no competition whatsoever for this Gorgo. And when it comes to large vinyl models, even if I bring in the Cyclops from the Ray Harryhausen Star Ace line, you can see that the Titanic Creations Gorgo is still larger than even the Cyclops. So, honestly, I don't think there's really much of anything that is going to compare well with this Gorgo. It is massive, no doubt about that. So this brand new Titanic Creations 30 centimeter Gorgo is awesome this is far and away one of my new favorite vinyl models that i have in my collection and i don't think i've ever seen gorgo look more realistic more lifelike and alive than i do with this model titanic creations has always produced some awesome stuff but the fact that they've kind of been like extending their figures out into kaiju from different films and stuff rather than sticking with their own original creations which are also awesome by the way you definitely should check those out but the fact that they're now extending out into things like Gorgo and Yongari and now recently Pulgasari and stuff like that, like it is so awesome to have models of these, especially Gorgo, because Gorgo is one that I grew up watching and loving ever since I was a child. So now to have an articulated version of Gorgo out and now this stagnant, gigantic version is a dream come true if you are a collector like me or a kaiju fan like me. And honestly, it doesn't get better than this Gorgo right here. This thing, sculpt-wise, is fantastic fantastic it has all the detail you would want to see on a gorgo model it is exceptionally vibrant and extremely highly detailed honestly it looks even more highly detailed than the suit itself from the film dope pope has honestly gone above and beyond to give us a great sculpt with this gorgo and it truly is a masterpiece when it comes to that on top of that the paintwork that they've given this is great it's even better in person than i was expecting it to be there's so much more layering so much more depth to the paint that than I was expecting when I was originally pulling it out of the box and it's such a pleasant surprise to just see how lifelike and realistic looking the Gorgo is as a whole I think they knocked this out of the park honestly in every aspect the sculpt is great the paint is great the pose is nice definitely the type of pose you would expect to see on Gorgo and of course, one of the most appealing aspects is the fact that it is massive and is without question going to be a standout on any 
collector's shelf that it finds its way onto. So if you are interested in grabbing one and adding it to your collection, I will include a link in the description to where you can check this out on Titanic Creations. And not to mention, you know, if you want to go grab this, of course you absolutely should, but make sure you take part in any upcoming releases that they have coming out, like when Yongari officially releases, you know, you could probably grab that guy, or of course Pulgasarian stuff that's coming out soon, definitely take part in helping to fund those as well, so we can continue to get these absolute dream come true models from Titanic Creations. Also keep in mind that this is in fact a limited edition, so there isn't like an unlimited amount, so if you do want one, make sure you head over and grab it as soon as possible so you don't miss out. And of course, make sure you check those links in the description that will take you to the Titanic Creations website where you can grab this and any of their other kaiju that they have currently available and of course like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching